wherever you are, let's sit together. We're in our month of gratitude. We're almost halfway through a month of gratitude. I wanted to bring up, in conjunction with gratitude, the offering around what's happening with the numbers. A lot of people have been telling me, my own sister included, they keep seeing the number 1111 over and over on, a, on an alarm, on your phone. It just keeps coming up over and over. And it's meant to be, and you can think what you like about it, but it's meant to be an energetic vortex. So the 1111, when you look at them, stand as a pillar, two pillars. And the vortex is supposed to be a, a way for us to now increase our supernatural psychic powers, have more spiritual connections, and it's a time of rapid manifestation. I thought that was really interesting and really important. So the two twos, like the double dose of two twos, so it's 11, 11, two two, we're now in it. So, and the fact that it was this Hallow's Eve, this blue moon, to me, that's beautiful ideas and I really am getting increasingly into cosmology and astrology. I think it's a way for us to connect with ourselves in different ways and to connect with maybe archetypes and different parts of our own being. I wanted to connect it to us letting go, dissolving and releasing the old sticky cobwebs of our stories, whether that's around relationships, stuff that didn't work out, or we wish had have worked out, whatever it might be. Going forward, if we're going to put our backs into what is inspiring and what is grounded, so what's really interesting is those these two pillars offer us a pathway into divine inspiration and grounded materialism. So you can, the idea is let it go, go big, play big, dream big, and now let's put the action together to get there. And part of that is going to be around being grateful. So today the seed I want to plant with your eyes gently closed, your body is starting to relax. The seed that I want to plant is the seed of love for self. What are the things that you love about you? What are those incredible things about you that make you so magnificent, so special? Keep your eyes softly closed. Self-sabotage is not welcome here. So I don't want to hear any echoes of self-criticism, just self-love. It might be that you're a wonderful teacher, that you're incredibly patient with your children, that you're compassionate with strangers, that you take time educate those that might not have what you have available to you. It might be the smallest things or the biggest things that you take the time to care for someone in your life that's really struggling. Your patience, your compassion, the energy that you put into relationships. Stay with the breath. I am empowered by my gifts. I am empowered by 
all of my unique talents. Stay with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping your eyes softly closed. Stay with the breath. Inhaling, let. Exhaling, go. Inhaling, let. Exhaling, go. I embrace my gifts. I embrace my divinity. I am grateful. Inhaling, let.
and gently keeping your eyes softly closed just notice your seat how grounded you are in this intention I am grateful I have unique amazing gifts as you go into your day today take the stillness with you take this peace and make the time perhaps if you'd like straight after this dip into bliss meditation to just write down a list of the things that you love about you and remember this is a time to tune in to all of the supernatural intuition that's already inside you to your spiritual side and to what you want to manifest the next two months is your moment so time to let go of the past and time to bring forth your biggest dreams your wildest imaginings you are perfect and complete gently put your palms together let your thumbs let rest on your sternum take in this intention and take a long slow deep breath in through the nose wish you namaste the divine in me bows and honors the divine in you and take your time coming back to your seat no rush yourselves a stretch I hope you're feeling good nice and juicy and healthy let me know if that resonated you this idea of tuning in to this idea of your own supernatural intuition which of course you you're aware of and feel no doubt what is this spiritual life that you're immersing yourself this life of more self-awareness and then what are the things that you're doing in a grounded manner to get to that to manifest that welcome everybody i wish you a fantastic day